I still aboard Megan's ship? It feels odd. What is this place? Where am I? I can feel something moving closer. What? Empress Emily Caldwin. I'm a friend of your father's from the bad old days. I never expected us to meet. I watched your mother die at the hands of schemers who wanted your little empire. Then you were rescued by a killer in a strange mask. I thought that was the end of the excitement. But Delilah and the Duke are flies in the ointment, aren't they? How many of your own subjects are you ready to slaughter? And what are you willing to become? Fifteen years ago, I asked Corvo that last question. This is the moment that changed him. Now it's your turn, Emily. It burns from the inside. I feel like I'm standing at the edge of... Something. All the stories, they're true. Incredible. This is how I'm going to save my father and reclaim the throne. What is that? It feels... familiar. I... know you. Do you remember? It's been so long, and you've been through so much. Even as an echo of myself. It's good to know you're there. Mother? You're here, but you're not here. In my hand, but... Somewhere else. Only the last of my essence. With you for a while. If only I could reach across this great expanse and take you into my arms. But I have this to offer. My gift and my curse. Summon me to your hand. And I will guide you when I can. Who is Delilah really? How could she? I don't understand. and painted some of the most brilliant portraits of the age, all in the same year. Survival and ambition, art and magic, with a cunning that makes sycophants of those around her. All of it leading to what you saw at Dunwall Tower. Delilah's playing the long game, and now she's an empress. But I'll let you in on a secret. She's got her eyes set on a much greater prize. When I was ten years old, bored with my lessons, I dreamed about sword fighting and sailing the ocean. Now I'm realizing that the world is more off-kilter than I imagined. 
Everything has been turned inside out. But I'm not gonna stop fighting until it makes sense again. Karnaka's the southernmost port in the Empire. Once proud, but fallen into disarray. Under the new Duke, the Grand Sirkonan Guard has gotten increasingly oppressive. Beatings and firing squads. The Bloodflies are said to be worse than ever. This is the birthplace of my father. Megan Foster keeps to herself, like she's hiding something. But she helped me escape Dunwall, and for now, I need a place to stay out of sight. Delilah and the Duke made me look like a murderer, using the Crown Killer to butcher my political adversaries. They took what was mine, and I'm gonna get it back, even if I have to burn this city to the ground. Must be clear up. All right. You've explained part of it. But what were you and Sokolov doing here? The old man loved Karnaka. But he'd caught wind of a conspiracy tied to the Crown Killer. He wanted to warn Corvo. There are reports about tensions rising. Corruption. Street violence. I... Didn't give it much mind. Usually the local authorities resolve that sort of thing. <sighs> the new Duke has let things slide. But Sokolov concluded he might be the head of the conspiracy. He came in looking shocked, and if you've heard his after-dinner stories, you know that's unusual. We were going to set out for Dunwall, but something happened. The Crown Killer. Yes, the hatch ripped open and Sokolov screamed. All I caught was a glimpse of someone carrying him across the deck. I followed as long as I could, toward Adermeyer Institute. It's run by the alchemist Hypatia. Maybe the Duke is using a patient of hers. The Crown Killer. Adermeyer. All right. I'll get inside. The Crown Killer has to be eliminated, and if the alchemist will cooperate, maybe I can learn something about what happened to Sokolov. Wish me luck. If you need my luck, Sokolov's as good as dead. When you get done at the Institute, disable the Watchtower. Once it's down, I'll bring the boat around. We'll take the skiff to the shore when you're ready.
I'll always miss my lessons with Anton Sokolov. He made so many clever devices during my mother's time. Dearest Emily, or must I say, your Imperial Majesty, I have something that you would also must hear at the first opportunity. It concerns the murders happening across the Empire, committed by this so-called crown. Jewel of the South, my father's birthplace. Ready for me to drop you at the docks? Let's go see the streets where my father grew up. Off we go then. It won't do to be recognized. 